When I think of Grace, I think of my 19-month-old daughter who just freely loves me no matter what happens, even if mama has a bad day. Uh, she's just always there with smiles and cuddles and hugs and laughter. And uh, I really sometimes feel like I don't deserve it. And so that to me is a beautiful picture of God's grace in my life, my family who continues to love me no matter what and uh, gives me second chances again and again and again. When I think of grace, I think of what the Apostle Paul wrote in many of his epistles at the very beginning of the letter. He said, grace and peace be with you. And I've heard it said, and I agree, that you can't have the peace of God unless you know the grace of God first. He never ever said peace and grace with you. He always says grace and peace. And so to know the peace of God, you really need to know the grace of God. That unmerited favor, where would we be without it? To me, grace is the good news of the gospel. Somebody once asked me, you know, what's the difference between being a Christian and not? Everyone's trying to do good, everyone's trying their best. And I said, somebody who's not a Christian wouldn't know grace. Because we're all the worst. I'm the worst, you're the worst, even, even Paul says that he's the worst. Um, but even though we're the worst, we can have forgiveness and grace, we can receive it even though we don't deserve it. And that's the good news of the gospel. Whether you're aware of it or not, grace is all around you. So what does grace mean to you? Reply with your own video message. Tweet or post at the following links and be a part of the grace movement this fall across Canada.